Hi everyone, it's Kathy, and I have a new journal to share with you. This is a denim journal. I call it a denim journal. It's a soft cover journal, and I really love the way it came out. Uh, I had some inspiration from Barbara, um, from, ooh, Dragonflies? Oh gosh. I'll have to put a name in the bo in the uh, body of the video, but um, I saw one of her denim journals and it just kind of inspired me. This is a larger journal. It measures six and a half by 10 inches, has three signatures and 102 pages. So it's quite large, but it is just full of a lot of goodies. Um, I hope you'll enjoy taking a peek. Uh, this journal was made with mostly fabric. It's a fabric cover. It's very soft. Um, I made the flowers. Everything is handmade. The denim flowers. A pocket from some old jeans. And inside the pocket is a little tag that you could use for a gift card if you wish. On the spine is a ruffle that's been, um, the fabric has been dyed with um, a rusty, rusty solution. And then the back has another pocket with um, another large tag. I left that blank so you could kind of decorate it or write on it as you would like. And you can see this um, denim ticking fabric, um, beautiful lace on here. And in the front, this is a um, vintage doily and it's been stitched all around and the closure has been some of that um, frizzy ribbon. I really like that. It gives it such a very vintagey look. Okay, so let's go inside. The inside front cover has another denim pocket with a pretty tag. This is probably going to take me a while to go through this, so I'll try to I'll try to go quickly. Um, pretty little image of some children. Again, the paper has been stenciled in the background. And then this tag. Again, you can journal on that. Stitching all around the page. Um, some stamping, some stenciling, and these are um, coffee dyed pages. But look at the way, I mean, I just love the way they came out. You don't need to do anything to them. <laughs> They're just pretty, just the way they are. And on this side, I did some stamping. This is a um, ledger page uh, envelope with a some um, ephemera a journaling card a lot of stamping and splattering in this journal a bag with an invoice copy of a vintage invoice um, from 1936 the bag has been coffee dyed and then uh, paint I just splattered. And this page, this is a beautiful page, I love this. Some fabric, some book page, doily, a pretty little ruffle, rusty pin, a lot of stitching. And then this page is a pocket 
Again, another flower that I made, a cute little uh, denim pocket. You could really put a little, a little tag in there. And there's some ephemera. Again, stitching all around. Another ledger sheet. A collage with another ruffle in the bottom. More splatter paint, stamping, some designer paper. Again, that's all been coffee dyed. Beautiful spot for you to do some journaling. Another collage with the pocket, some more ephemera. Blank pages, some splattering of coffee dyed. Another collage, a pocket with the tag, another tag here, more stenciling, the other side of the bag it has a mini, mini journal, lots of room there for you writing or photos, more splattering, a envelope, and I just left blank that you could put anything in there that you wish, and then a pocket with some more ephemera, the ledger sheet again more of that paper that beautiful coffee dyed paper a little bit of stamping on there some more splattering and then some fabric that i just did some uh, stenciling with some um, paint and then a journaling card or ephemera more of that paper, it's just gorgeous. A lace pocket with a little tag, and then another tag. Yeah, that doesn't belong there. That just slips in there. And then another tag for more journaling. With stenciling and stamping, a beautiful embroidered pocket. That's a from an old handkerchief hanky, I believe. And then a tag, and then some pretty fabric, lacy fabric on top with a little cameo. Okay, and then some um, die cut in the envelope, and then there's a spot here. You can tuck something inside, more stenciling pocket with some ephemera, another pocket, another tag. And then this is a floating tag. You can take that off, put it anywhere you'd like. Die cut on there and some collage. More stamping and stenciling. Splattering another envelope with some journaling cards. Perfect for writing those messages or notes, secrets, tuck them right back in your envelope. And then some graph paper with stitching, another pocket with a tag, another large pocket with 
beautiful image, some stamping on there, and then a large tag, collage, some lace, room for journaling, a little collage of some lace and some fabric. It says, be happy. More of that beautiful paper. Another collage. There's a little pocket here. Another tag. Oops. Getting out of frame. Sorry about that. Blank pages for journaling. Another pretty image on a bag. And then another mini journal. Lots of room there. Another collage, another one of those flowers that I made, a pocket with a tag. More blank pages. And this page is like that. <clears throat> you see the pineapple and then you open it up and you've got room to journal inside. More splattering, more stenciling and a collage with the pretty lace and a button well, another collage Some tracing paper we all love that sound this is an old ledger craft paper and then in the back is a large envelope that you could put some bunch of goodies in there and then another collage and then the back of the journal that I left blank. Um, you could pretty much leave it blank or you could attach photos or anything you'd like. And then the back of the journal again, these beautiful pockets with the lace applique. So there you have my latest journal. It's a, I call it a denim journal. I love the way it came out. Um, this would definitely be a cherished piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions at all. Don't hesitate to contact me at the email below. And if you're interested in purchasing this journal, uh, again, use the email below to, con <coughs> excuse me, to contact me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Again, any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think of this journal. Um, I really appreciate it. So everyone take care. Have a great week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.